Not all Russians are happy with their future president. About a hundred gathered for an unauthorized and angry protest in the capital. The election of Dmitry Medvedev is a farce, they chanted, before the police moved in. But with more than 70% of the vote, the man hand-picked by President Vladimir Putin as his successor has a firm mandate. There's been criticism of his virtually unopposed ascent to the Kremlin, but he has already been embraced both at home and abroad. In Washington, a White House spokesman said the United States looks forward to working with Medvedev, but avoided commenting on the election itself. Britain said it would judge the new Russian government on its actions, while the French foreign minister said whatever the criticisms, the European Union and Russia had to start a new dialogue. But it is the dialogue between Medvedev and Putin, said to become prime minister, that has Russia watchers most puzzled. Observing an increasingly opaque Kremlin requires almost Soviet-era powers of analysis. It's important to see whether it's Putin who's going to be speaking publicly for the country. That will be a sign uh, of his continuing power and influence. And it's important to see whether there are any real significant departures. Departures on key policies that have defined eight years of President Putin's hard-line style of leadership, often putting Russia at odds with the West. The latest theory on the Putin-Medvedev dynamic is that it will be a sort of good cop, bad cop approach to government, with the soft-spoken Dmitry Medvedev as president smoothing the edges of his mentor's often abrasive political rhetoric more a change in tone at the Kremlin than in substance. Matthew Chance, CNN Moscow.